Well, the House of Keys has been sitting today, and uh, Eric Corkish was taking a great interest. Eric, you came last week, we didn't get, didn't get to the question in time. But uh, uh, first of all, I think many people still stagger this is going on. It's still about you getting your class two on a bus van and legally. Well, not necessarily me getting no. on, on a <laughs> this is what we're talking people, about, yeah, with the news uh, the mobility scooters. Yeah, I came up today to listen to uh, question three, which uh, Chris Thomas was putting to the uh, DOI minister, but I actually found there was more information in questions 12 and 13, and the minister stood there for 10 minutes and talked about social inclusion, uh, helping disabled travel, people using the buses to save the environment, and yet 10 minutes earlier he said, I can't use a bus. And there he is now telling us to get disabled people on buses. There's a lot of confusion going back and forth about what's happening in the UK. We, we talked about this many times, so I don't know why it's still <laughs> he causing gave, issues. He gave figures there, I can't remember the exact figures. Is it Mr Baker, is it? Yeah, he gave figures of how many hundred buses were, were allowing mobility buggies on and how many weren't. Now, what he failed to say is the five biggest companies in the UK all allow mobility buggies on. And I think what he's done, very crafty, he's taken a lot of one-man band buses like you have in some of these cities, and he's put them figures in just to skew the whole thing that there's more buses not carrying buggies than there are. Yeah, and he's totally, totally wrong to come up with that. And the question he had again about London buses, London buses don't travel anywhere, they only do a few miles. What's the distance from the outside of London to the inside? It's not a couple of miles, and they claim that buses only travel at six miles an hour in London. You know, it's absolute rubbish. What about all the other companies that run all the buses? Well, you were getting support. Um, Laurie Hooper was <coughs> definitely coming up with a few things and challenging the minister. Yeah, well, that, one of the main things that he came up with there today was that in law, there's nothing in the Act that says they cannot carry mobility buggies. Mm. mobility scooters, whichever way you want to call them. I've got a different impression though from what Mr Baker was saying though. Well, he's saying that uh, under law they don't, they don't have to carry the buggies, but there's nothing there to say they can't carry them. Ah. Now, he's, he's got this thing about uh, reasonable adjustments. If we're allowed to use it, there is no reasonable adjustments being made. Uh, also, he, he's saying about the, if the mobility buggy moves, if the bus stops, I'll, I'll put a, an offer out to him now, come and meet me at a bus station and I will show you, because he doesn't understand, you park your buggy against the wall of the bus. If the bus breaks, the buggy can't move, the wall is holding it. Mm. You posted some video, just remind me of that, uh, was that without permission or did you just to sort no, of go on? No, I, I got permission the oh. first time when I did it. And then I asked again, and I think it was three weeks ago, because I was going to contact you to come and film it. Yeah. And yeah. the answer I got from Mr Longworth was, you've already done it, you don't need to do it again. Right. Um, you, you made some other notes. Anything else that, you know, particularly that uh, caught your eye then on this, these questions? <laughs> well, basically, and I'm pretty sure that I'm right, the minister has not gone and looked at the bus. He hasn't answered any emails that I've sent him. He just flatly refuses. So he's not to talking vote. to you at all. He hasn't the same as the minister before. Okay. So what we're saying here, or you're saying, is you'd like to meet him and discuss this and, m and, and have him, an actual show him how it gets on and off a bus. Yeah. Show him that they, they are safe. You know, because it's, it's just so annoying. All he's doing out, out in there today is he's read out some words put in front of them by Mr Longworth. I don't believe he even Well, you don't know that, but you, you, you he, should say okay. I would guess that that's what's okay, done, okay. because he doesn't know anything about the buses. Now, I think there's a lot of people thinking, no, actually, not how many people thinking this, I don't know, but is it just you now v the bus company, or will other people benefit from this? There will be plenty of other people benefit from it, but what has to be quite clear, uh, that it's only class two. Class 3 buggies cannot go onto a bus. Nobody's asking for Class 3 buggies. I mean, these are serious stuff, aren't they? Those big ones. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah they, they'll travel for 20 miles. Yeah. You know, but they, they keep bringing this up, you know, that they're not safe to go on the bus. And it's, it's just rubbish. But disability laws come in here. Is that not, did that help in the end? Yes. Last week, 
in Tinwald, there was no order passed to make it the definite that the DOI or Wurstbannen are covered by the Equality Act. Mm -hmm. Now, when that act had gone through last week, it became law at midnight. Just before it became law, while Tinwald was still sitting, I contacted Mr Longworth and I said, the law has now changed, so are you going to allow me on the bus? And he said, no. That was while Tinwald was sitting, so he hadn't even spoken to the minister and he's refused to let me get on that bus again. Uh, I think I've asked you this many times, it, it just seemed to be getting to kind of crazy because I mean, at the end of the day you did get on, you had yeah. a trial and that information it, it was, was okay? It was a five month trial and I'll say it again, yeah. they said in Tinwald, uh, it was Minister Harmer at the time, that my buggy moved six times on a journey. Right? All buses are covered by CCTV. I asked to see the film of my buggy moving and I was told by Mr Longworth, you're not entitled to see it. I checked with the communications department and they said I am entitled to see it. I went back to uh, Mr Longworth, told him that I was allowed to see it and he then told me that he had wiped the tapes, he'd wiped the evidence. Well, once again, I, I, I don't know who will want to talk to us about this, but you, I think it's really now you need a face-to-face a -face here with the minister, I guess. I, I, I don't know, but you, you, would that help, you think? An email would have helped in the beginning. But, you know, if he wants to meet me, he lives up the road from me. He doesn't live that far, you know. <coughs> and he gave these figures. <coughs> I don't know where to get these figures from, of how many extra uh, higher bus stops they're putting in around the island so people can get on them. Well, surely that's people with a disability. That's what I've got. And while I was talking to Ian Longworth, he told me that there's only 29 level bus stops on the Isle of Man. Well, what I'd like to know is, why is five of them outside my house within 500 yards? Five out of 29 are on my road. Now, does that sound realistic to you? It doesn't to me.